Yo, what's up guys, Prince Charming. We are gonna be checking the trailer to the Detective Pikachu movie that is coming out. Okay, so I don't really watch trailers, but I feel like I just had to watch this trailer because it was such a popular, you know, series as a kid for me and for a lot of people still. So this is Detective Pichu, Pikachu and this is a live action movie of Pokemon. So I haven't watched this trailer yet. I don't even know the plot to this movie, the backstory. So I'm gonna be completely new watching this. I'm gonna be completely new with you. But I did heard on Twitter that like a lot of people did have a lot of problems with how real the Pokemon looked and how like they didn't really match the description in the Pokedex of when you played it as a kid or in the anime show. But don't forget to hit me a like, subscribe, and go ahead and comment what is one Pokemon you would love to have in real life. Pretty sure I asked a question familiar to this in one of my previous videos, but yeah, I'll probably go with almost any psychic Pokemon. So like an Abra or a Kadabra or an Alakazam, like I just want a psychic Pokemon because I feel like they'll be the most useful because they can like read minds, lift things, teleport me places. Like that will be the most useful. I don't need a Charizard who's gonna burn down everything and then just get mad for no reason. But enough of me talking, let's go and check out Detective Pikachu, the official trailer, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Welcome to Rhyme City, a celebration of the harmony between humans and Pokemon. Tim. Oh, we got a black man character? Oh, let's get it. If you are anything like your dad. Is his last name Ketchum, though? You wanted to be a Pokemon trainer when you were young. Sinnoh yeah, Championship. Right. It's like the Super Bowl. <laughs> Someone there? Is that a gun? He got a gat in this? Oh, that's a stapler. What are you going to use a stapler oh, for? Here we go. I know. You can't understand me, but put down the stapler or... I will electrocute you. Oh, Pikachu can talk. He's so cute. Did you just talk? Whoa. Did you just understand me? Oh my god, you can understand me. Okay, okay. So this is I'm not going to try to pause this too much, but from my understanding from watching the anime, Meowth was the only Pokémon who can actually talk and have humans understand him, except for all like the legendary Pokemon. That doesn't count. I'm talking about those regular Pokemon. Meowth was the only one that can talk. So I don't know how he's able to understand Pikachu. I don't know if Pikachu actually speaks English. Because the whole thing with Meowth was the fact that he can actually speak English. It wasn't him saying Meowth, 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 and people understanding what Meowth, Meowth, Meowth meant. No, he was literally speaking English. In this, I don't think he's speaking English because... He even said it himself that you can understand me, so probably everybody else hears Pikachu, Pikachu, and he hears what Pikachu's actually saying, so maybe he is just a special one. He better be Ash Ketchum's son or something, because if you're not, bro, what are you doing with a Pikachu? This is Ash Ketchum's story. This is Ash Ketchum's plot line. Like, you get yourself a Bulbasaur or something. <laughs> I've been so lonely. They try to talk to me all the time. All they hear is Pika Pika. Oh, you can hear him. Okay, I was right. I was right. Look at me adorable. predicting the movie. They can't understand me, kid. Can no one else hear him? I don't need a Pokemon. Period. Then what about a world-class detective? Because if you want to find your pops, I'm your best bet. Who is his dad? Is it Ash Ketchum? You and me. Okay, okay, this is pretty dope. I ain't gonna lie. This looks pretty dope. And that magic is called hope. Listen up. We got ways to make you talk. Or mine. Yeah. So tell us what we want to know. Pipe. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Shoving. Pushing. My problem is that I push people away and then hate them for leaving. They put a Mr. Mr. Mime in this shove movie. It. What? I can shove it? Okay, that's it. No, we're switching roles. I'm bad cop. You're good cop. No, 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 no. We're not cops. Oh. Ooh. In my head, I saw that differently. He made a barrier. I forgot that he could do that. Okay. They got this man Ryan Reynolds playing Pikachu. This has to be good now. Ooh. All right, that was it for this video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. My honest opinion on this trailer has to be that it looks very interesting. It looks like it can be a good movie or it can be a bad movie. It cannot be a decent movie. So it's either going to be great or it's either going to be terrible. That's the only way it can go because this whole adding uh, Pokemon in real life, I feel like it's still going to be too 
kitty. Like, I need some gore. I need some blood. I need some realness. And I feel like they're not going to really touch on that because it is a kid's show. So it's not going to be something I expect them to do. It's just something I would have preferred. I'm not talking about no R-rated. I'm just literally saying, like, they could have made it PG. I'm pretty sure it's PG, but they could have made it a little more you know blood fight scenes this that and not too many kid jokes and kid euphemisms or whatnot but this does look like it's gonna be a good movie like i said it's either gonna be good or it's gonna be bad i'm very excited to see it and i'm going to see it so let's go ahead and wait for 2019 oh man 2019 has so much bangers it has avengers 4 it has uh game of thrones it has this it has um so much stuff so much stuff and i can't wait for 2019 because that's gonna be the, the day that like a lot of us finally get the finales to the series or the movies that we've been keeping up with. But don't forget to give me a like, subscribe, and comment on this video. If you want to play from yours truly, Prince Charming. My name is Prince Hawk. I'm Stay Charm, my friends.